Currently right now, Sims 4 is bugged yet again. They released a new uh, expansion pack, Love Struck, and it's completely broken. To uh, summarize what's going on, it seems to only be affecting female Sims. They'll spawn in with male bodies the 98% of the time if they're not like a pre-made. They'll always have arm and body hair and if they're skinny, like this one right here for instance, 9 times out of 10 on the first spawn, they'll spawn in as thick, if not fat. Nothing wrong with those two type of body, with those body types, but we all have preferences and this is a life simulation game. So I would prefer to have my sim be with a fairly skinny, attractive sim also because this is a life simulation game. It is not real life and I can choose who I want my sim self to be with. And as you can see, I uh, put this image right here kind of showing off exactly what I'm talking about, which you really can't see right now because of the uh, small uh, size. But here is a full size image. Here you can clearly see she is skinny. But on the first spawn in, she's, well, this. And of course, also note, leg hair, arm hair, leg hair, arm hair. I'm surprised this one did not show up as a, a male sim or male body and whatnot. I actually had one show up previously, but we're talking about this one right now. So obviously after making sure I'm not going schizo and trying on multiple different sims that are randomized and not part of the pre-made set because the ones that are pre-made in Cupid's uh, corner, they'll show up 100% as they should all the time no matter what. But the randomized ones, because again the gallery is not working right now, 95% of the time will just be like again this or what I mentioned going on right here. You can pause whenever you want. So, I'm being a little more abrasive with my wording, but that's because I, like a bunch of other people that I play Sims 4, are getting really fed up with them constantly releasing these new expansions and them being broken the heck and back. Freaking Wedding Days was a dumpster fire, and now Love Shucks even a worse dumpster fire. They couldn't even get the gallery option to freaking work on the first shot. So obviously I post this, and then this guy right here, which is not a mod by the way, just someone that apparently has been in the community for ever basically. I, I don't even touch the EAA uh, help crap because I tend to leave to myself, but Love Shock has been a dumpster fire. But as you can see, this guy right here posts basically what's going on with uh, Cooper's Corner and is more or less experiencing the exact same thing with me, but their wording is a little more... Uh, I guess you'll say tame when I'm being more abrasive and I'm applying video and applying uh, proof and whatnot. I'm fairly certain this person also uh, has proof. Yeah, it does right here screenshots, but mine are visible right out of the gate. So I don't know what exactly I did to get banned. I didn't get a warning. I don't have a warning on my account or anything. And before you ask, why don't you log into your account and actually see if you do have a warning? Here is my account. Public status, nothing. Contact me, nothing. And my only reason is this right here. So if I go to sign in, because as you can see, I'm not signed in right here. If I go to click it, I'm meeting with, with this right here. I'm banned from signing into my account. This, I'm at a loss for words. How are they this fucking incompetent? Oh wait, DEI and ESG, that's why. I hear it's some fee fees of one of those people. I feed the fee fees of a DEI hire. And if I'm to be quite honest, it's most likely not this that got me banned. It's this that got me banned. Because as you can see, she's thinking of something. She is thinking of food. You know why? She's a glutton. So obviously she's going to be thinking of food. Now before you say I edited this in, I did not. I have video evidence. 
this was when I was trying to figure out or I was recording all my interactions initially trying to f make sure I wasn't going schizo because at the time I thought I was just going schizo and unfortunately I was not. So with that said. Holy freaking fat. What the fuck? So yeah, EA, I did not edit that in to the screenshot. That is exactly how she spawned in. That is exactly what she was thinking about the instant she spawned in. Because you decided to make a randomize with the gluttony trait. Don't blame me for what you have in the game and what the sim is thinking about at any given moment in the sim's life. So yeah, EA, this, you ain't helping yourself here, buddy. And of course, since there's no way to know that I've been banned, or that I have any tag or anything that got banned on my profile, I don't know if uh, this person here lost their account also, or got, them, got themselves temporarily banned for this post right here. With that said, let's see how long has this post been going for? Oh, of course, this one responds. We get an actual EA community manager responding. And yet for me, uh, what do I get? I get someone linking me to that post and then a supplemental banning of my account. I'm at a loss for words here. This is the, uh, this is the current state of Sims 4. You can't even make a post talking about uh, the bugs you're experiencing with evidence, and then of course uh, video evidence also, and you lose your fucking account for reporting the issues that this game is having because your wording or maybe the screenshot you're using someone over at EA doesn't like. Freaking cowards.